felt like summer out there today. Those temperatures climbed into the mid 90s across a large part of the Brazos Valley. These are the high temperatures that were observed across our area here in Bryan College Station. We climbed up to 94 degrees. This is actually tying an old record that was set back in 2006. Those morning temperatures really didn't dip off too much either with that low level moisture that had started to work its way into the Brazos Valley. 69 degrees that low temperatures still in the 80s at this hour. 82 degrees. It really feels like summer out there and temperatures out along that I-35 corridor still pretty warm as well. 84 degrees in Giddings. We have an up level ridge that is built into Texas. This is what's responsible for those hot temperatures that we experienced out there today, and this is also kind of preventing a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity across the region. The one exception is across western Texas where we have a dry line. This is sparking some showers and storms out to the north of Lubbock as well as up toward Amarillo, but we're not expecting to see any of that here in Bryan College Station. What we are going to see are the temperatures slightly come down, but those dew points are going to continue to increase. So Here's a green line, which are the dew points, and those are going to really start to increase heading into tomorrow, heading into the end of the week. Notice the red line are the temperatures, and they kind of peaked out today. It's going to be warm again tomorrow, but they start to decrease. But even though those temperatures are decreasing with that moisture on the increase, those heat indices are going to climb into the triple digits as we head into Wednesday as well as Thursday. So you want to make sure that you exercise caution outside, stay hydrated out there, and kind of limit any physical activity because it will be kind of dangerous with this heat and the seas climbing into the triple digits across the Brazos Valley. Now we are going to start to see some changes as we head toward the end of the week, but really not dealing with any changes out there tomorrow. See some cloud cover with that moisture increasing throughout the overnight hours, but we're not going to deal with any precipitation as we head into Thursday. A shower and thunderstorm complex develops over western Texas overnight Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to send an outflow boundary into the Brazos Valley heading into Thursday morning. As we add in a little bit of daytime heating, notice that boundary tries to trigger some showers and storms across central and eastern parts of the Brazos Valley. Going to have to keep an eye on this Thursday because we could see some showers and storms that could not only uh, kind of hamper the forecast, but it could kind of prevent those temperatures from climbing all the way into the low 90s. So we'll keep a close eye on that as we head into Thursday afternoon. What we are going to notice, though, as the upper level ridge starts to shift towards the south, those temperatures going to slightly decrease. It's still going to be hot out there, but some upper level disturbance is going to ride in on the northern periphery of that upper level ridge. This is going to generate some showers and storms for the Brazos Valley as we head into the end of, end of the week, continuing into the weekend as well as next week. So get ready for a wild ride. It's not going to be a continuous rainfall, but we do have periodic shower and thunderstorm chances over the next few days once we get beyond tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to be hot out there, going to climb back into the low to mid 90s. And then notice shower and thunderstorm chances start to increase on Thursday and really ramp up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, continuing all the way into Monday, Gabriella. I know a lot of people have an extended weekend, but it's looking like we could see some showers and storms, so you may be dodging those. Make sure you have the umbrella ready for the weekend. Of course, hopefully it doesn't get too rainy, but you know what? It's perfect sleeping weather, as I like to say. Maybe cuddle up with a good book if you got your pup. Cuddle up with your pup, too, like I would, and you would, too. Oh, yeah, always cuddle with the pups. Watch some Netflix, you know, just kind of have a good little weekend. But it's still going to be warm out there, so it's not like you need to get all, you know, cuddle up and just kind of chill inside because it's still going to be warm outside. Yes. Well, thank you, Christopher, so much. If the weather is as hot as today, it may.